Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you some of the features that are available on the View tab. So in this document, I've gone onto the View tab on the ribbon and the first thing I want to highlight is the setting that I'm on already. This is a default setting, vertical page movement. So basically I'm going up and down like that. If I click on this one, when I go like that with my mouse i'm rolling my mouse down they see the pages folding over like that they're just going through the book side to side which is quite a neat little feature just take it back to the front and then i'm clicking back off that so these two features here are really useful as long as you know what which one you've got set so in the zoom area you've got one page which is what that's on if i come to the top you can see that's just one page at a time multiple pages depending on what you've got zoomed in shows you multiple pages believe it or not and if i use my mouse to zoom in they get back down to one page because i've zoomed right in now it's full size well not full size that i mean that's full size like that you can do page width and that, that would be full size but to be honest i tend to use multiple pages on most documents i use you've got the option of zooming in to a specific amount if I go like that 200% got it and then you can zoom it back out either with your scroll mouse or using these features there 100% is that quick way of getting into that now if you want to create a new window to maybe have a look at a different document side by side um, not necessarily this one if I open a different document um, so now I've got two documents open. If I go to the View tab, I can sit on this view side by side. So it shows both documents side by side. These are clearly different documents. As I move my mouse up and down, you can see that both documents are moving at the same time. But if I go back to the, the View tab and win, Window, it's under now, you can knock that synchronize scrolling off and then move them independently like that so you can just rotate them up and down but to be honest more often than not you would have that on synchronized scrolling because it might be a case of this is one version of this document and you ought to compare it with another one now if i close this second document down for a minute and make this this one back to full screen there is a feature on the review tab to compare documents and then combine them if you want. So if I click on this one and go down to the to the bottom where it says compare, what, you, what it's asking you to do is to select two documents that you want to compare. So if I go into examples and then Word, come down to Word, in there you've got different documents that you can compare. So let's have a look at what I can compare. Um, Newcastle pubs one and Newcastle pubs two. So I'll browse for that one. Newcastle pubs three actually. Okay to that. It'll open those two documents side by side and shows you any sort of changes and there's quite a lot of changes here. So down down this right hand side you've got the original and the revised document in the middle you've got compared documents and these are all the changes you can see them down this left hand side where there's changes so track changes is on and it's a case of coming into here and accepting on the review tab accepting these changes so basically this is a document i use to show people that change case so one of them the case has been changed so the titles are there the, in the top there, where it's Backers Hybrid with the strike through activated. That's what it was originally, and this is what it is now. So I could say accept that or reject it. So I'll go for accept, and it keeps it. It's going down through the document, and you can see what's happening over on the left-hand side. The things are disappearing, like so. I'll get myself to the top again start at the top tracking so this is a bit squashed i've got my 
screen resolutions zoomed right up. So started at the top. So you see how you're doing that? I'm going through it and saying, yeah, 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 all the way through, like so. So once you've finished, you can just save this document as normal, and then you can just close all these boxes down, and that's how you can utilize that. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. What you can do on the view menu in regards to showing multiple pages and one by one page at a time, um, side by side, synchronized scrolling, and then finally how you can use the review tab to combine or compare documents. So hopefully that information is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.